Hello friends. So this is my workstation where I do all my sonographies which includes routine obstetric sonography and some specialized scans like nuchal scan, anomaly scan, fetal echo, Doppler study and also some of the invasive procedures like amniocentesis and cholangulus sampling. So here is my buddy. <laughs> from Mumbai and today we are going to discuss about one very important aspect of ultrasonography in pregnancy and that is anomaly scan. Now anomaly scan is also known as detailed structural anomaly scan or TIFA scan which is done at around four and up to five months of pregnancy. Now it has got lots of benefit. First of all why is it done at four and a half to five months of pregnancy because this is the time by which the baby is almost fully formed there is good amount of fluid surrounding it so that we can have a look at the baby from top to bottom and we can make sure that almost 90 percent of structural defects can be ruled out by this anomaly scan which is done at four and a half to five months of pregnancy so there are lots of benefit of it and therefore anomaly scan is one scan which must not be missed in any pregnancy but at the same time we must understand that there are few limitations of it and therefore whenever you go for anomaly scan you must keep this in mind there is one misconception that whenever the anomaly scan is normal once the sonologist says that the anomaly scan is normal, uh, patients feel that baby is 100% structurally normal. Everything has benefits and limitations. So we know the benefits of this TIFA scan or anomaly scan that 90% of structural anomalies can be ruled out by this 4 and up to 5 month scan. But there are few limitations of it. So you must keep these limitations in mind when you go for your anomaly scan. Now what are they? Number one, it does not rule out 100% structural anomalies. Now why so? Because this is done at four and a half to five months of pregnancy. Now there are few of these structural defects which come up late in the pregnancy. Say around sixth, seventh or eighth month of pregnancy. There are many structures that are still developing. Some of the defects of heart, brain, kidney, intestine would be seen only at later months of pregnancy. So obviously those defects which come up late in the pregnancy cannot be picked up at four and a half to five months of pregnancy. So that is one important aspect that is evolving defects in the later part of pregnancy. Now uh, again even at four and a half to five months it is not possible to look at complete baby 100%. Now why so? Because many a times the baby keeps the hand like this uh, in the form of fist in which if the baby doesn't open the hand then we are not able to count the fingers and toes. So this is one thing which is a limitation not in every baby we are able to count that. Then if we try and look at each and every structure of the baby then it would take extended time maybe 2 hours, 3 hours, 4 hours which is practically impossible. Right? Maximum half an hour, 45 minutes we have to finish our anomaly scan and therefore it is impossible to look at each and every tiny structure of the baby. So we always say that 90% structures we can look at and we can rule out 90% of major structural anomalies. Now there are some factors related to mother also. As for example if the mother is obese or fat or even if the mother is not obese but there is more of fat over abdominal skin or the skin over the tummy. Now remember in ultrasonography fluid is our friend and fat is our enemy. So if there is fat over the abdomen that is in between the ultrasonography probe and your baby then it is going to affect the quality of image of ultrasonography and that also limits looking at the structure of babies. So fatter the mother uh, poorer is going to be the image quality of the baby. So that is also one limitation. Then there is, as I said, there is fluid surrounding the baby because of which the baby keeps on moving and fluid is our friend. And so we can look at the structures inside the baby's body very well. Now because of some problem inside, if the fluid is less, 
that which we call it as oligohydroamnios in that condition again we don't get that window to look at the structures of the baby so in case when there is less fluid again it limits our viewing the structures of the baby and therefore again there is a limitation to looking at uh, defects in the structures of the baby a more important factor is uh, suppose you have got previous cesarean section so again over tummy you will be having a scar of previous cesarean section which again interferes with uh, ultrasonography so it um, again it becomes difficult for us to looking at structures through the scar right and the baby is sitting right below the scar so we have to go through that window only so these are few of the important reasons because of which we are not able to rule out structural problems in the baby or structural defects in the baby 100% but yes 90% is a good number and therefore i would advise each and every pregnant woman to undergo a normally scan or structural anomaly scan at 4 and 1/2 to 5 months of pregnancy so that you can be 90% sure that your baby is structurally normal hope you find this video useful do not forget to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe icon which is there on the right corner of this video to stay tuned with my future videos till then stay safe stay happy thank you